This cute little smart car was a birthday gift to my son from electrao.com. He was very excited to unbox, assemble and program it using the drag and drop programming language. He named it Lily. You can buy this cute, creative, programmable, multitasking and educational smart robo car for just $34.90 from electrao.com. I have provided the link in the description below. So this is what came inside the mail bag. I was super excited to open the box and see what's inside. Crobot has features like infrared light tracking, light following, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, buzzer, ultrasonic obstacle avoidance, programmable IR remote control and double wheel front drive. The box is very lightweight and contains all the components that you need to create the robo car. So this is what was inside the box. The items on my right are the ones that will assemble into the robo car and the items on my left will assemble into the programmable remote control. The only additional item that you need is six AAA batteries, four for the car and two for the remote. Everything comes pre-sorted. All you have to do is spare 30 minutes of your time, sit down and assemble it. Crobot uses acrylic plate as the shell and the assembly is super simple. Just align the slots and tighten the screws to complete the build. Before assembling the components, let's have a quick look at the chassis of the car. The top side has two geared motors, an ESP32 microcontroller, an on and off switch, a reset button, two light sensors, one IR receiver for IR remote and four female pin headers for the ultrasonic sensor. The bottom bit has the omnidirectional wheel, two line following sensors, switches to toggle between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, USB Type-C interface for loading programs and two I2C interface which can be connected to 150 plus Crotail modules making it highly scalable. Alright, now let's start putting the bits and pieces together. I first connected the battery holder to the chassis. Then I connected the two female pin standoff spacers to one side of the side acrylic plate. Next, I slided the chassis into the side plate and attached the front plate to it. Once I was confident that all the bits are aligned to the correct holes, I attached the second side plate to the chassis and tightened the screws to complete the setup. Next, I connected the ultrasonic sensor to the female pin headers. Crobot ultrasonic sensor not only avoids obstacles, but also emits colorful RGB light. Next, I connected the two wheels to the chassis. That's it, all done. So as you can see, the middle of the front bit has the ultrasonic sensor with two light sensors on both sides of it and the IR receiver module just in front of it. At the back from left to right is the on off switch, the USB-C port followed by the two buttons on the right. Now let's assemble the remote. Let's first install the button caps. Different color caps helps in easy identification of the buttons. The joystick is ergonomically designed to feel comfortable in hand. The transparent acrylic plate gives you the visibility of the working condition of the remote. Next, I install the joystick cap followed by the two AAA batteries at the back. The remote also has a 0.91 OLED display which sits just above the ESP32 microcontroller to display the current state of the car. Next, I installed the back plate followed by the transparent front plate. Crobot can be controlled using infrared or Bluetooth remote control. Crobot can be programmed using Arduino, MicroPython or Let's Code graphical program IDEs. So this is how it looks like after the assembly. You can program the remote using USB port present on the remote. Crobot comes preloaded with the factory loaded code, so you can use it as is straight after the assembly. The IR remote can be used to perform similar functions as the programmable remote or the joystick. Have a look at the on-screen buttons to familiarize yourself with the button combinations. 
unlimited creativity is waiting for you to discover. So, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and order one of your own. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.